if the temperatures drop quickly, it is always possible you can get them sick. Hello, did you guys cohabitate nicely last night? Come on in. She's looking pretty good. Oh, she wants to bite someone. This is a real cool treat. There's Lego. It's a red foot tortoise pile up. Hey girl, where are you? Come on out. That's my little laggy. Whoa, laggy. It's the crazy world we live in, man. Things are just insane these days oh look at this slicky's out he's out and about he was in last night because i blocked this but of course my ding a bat i didn't put something on top of here but how'd you do buddy hey what's going on everyone ken in here i gotta be honest last night we were supposed to have a cold snap but now the temperatures are rising it's about 70 degrees right now and i gotta let the animals out so you guys are coming along with me to let everyone out of their enclosures See how they did last night. Um, I got so nervous around 12.30 I woke up and um, I just was walking around outside just to make sure that the animals were okay. And um, I don't know, after what happened with Slinky, uh, I oh, look at this, there you go. Slinky's out, he's out and about, I'm glad. He was in last night, he's out right now because I blocked this, but of course, my ding -a bat I didn't put something on top of here, but like I said, last night wasn't that cold. Let's see, where is he? Slinky! Where are you? He's not in the water. Let's see our Slinky. There he is. How'd you do, buddy? How'd you do, buddy? Oh, you look fine. So, obviously, guys, we know that Slinky will find a way. So, this is very temporary. I'm not worried about last night. Like I said, it was a dry run. It didn't get that cold. I came out in the middle of the night to check on them. Um, what we are going to be doing here in the next couple weeks is we're going to make this lid insulated and also have a latch on it and a door there. Um, so there you go. Slinky's good. Last night wasn't that cold, but let's go let everyone else out. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. We love you, man. We love you, buddy so glad you're doing good and after after last winter it's almost been a year since slinky had his frozen adventure oh my god i'm so glad this guy's chilling we love you man you're the best all right enjoy the day it's going to be a warm one and it's not going to be cold tonight so i'm not worried about the critters i also have some bummer news um stewart was supposed to be coming down today um to help me with the um enclosure and putting the universal rocks on but unfortunately the uh was american airlines canceled like 200 flights so he was trying to book another flight but they were super expensive so we have to delay it for a couple of weeks um so unfortunately we gotta wait that's the crazy world we live in man things are just insane these days what with weather and staffing shortages and things like that so it's kind of a bummer but uh, hey man, Stuart's doing me a solid, so we can wait, we've been patient. It's taken this long anyway to get the materials, so what's the big deal? Let's just wait a little bit for our friend Stuart to come down so we can get that thing uh, put up correctly. And I really can't wait to sh do that video with you guys because that is gonna be an awesome before and after look. All right, so you know where we are now, right people? Hey girl. Where are you? Come on out. Come on out, precious. There's my girl, Lagatha. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That's my Lagatha. That's my little laggy. Whoa, laggy! I want to feel the heater. Yeah, there's heat in there. Good. All right, there she is. Come on, babe. Come on out. Well, she's obviously not uh, bothered by anything that happened last night. Moving along. I love it, man. This is fun stuff. Getting the animals all out and about and uh, making sure everyone was okay. So what is the temperature? I got my handy little temp gun here. It is now 78 degrees. It's gonna be a great day. How awesome. Okay, the sulcatas uh, out back, the leprechauns and sulcatas are fine. Uh, those guys are very hardy. As long as it doesn't get below 55 degrees for a long period of time, they're generally gonna be okay. But we do have some animals I have to bring back out. One of them is Inky. Um, I did wind up putting Inky in here. This is gonna be interesting, trying to get this critter out as well as 
the next creature, which is one of the blue iguanas. And this one here, where are you little buddy? Let's see, where is she? He, rather. Oh, there he is. God, I didn't even see him. How crazy. So this is gonna be tough to do with one hand, everyone. So I don't want you to uh, be upset at me, but I gotta do two hands to get this lizard because this lizard's quite strong and uh, I don't wanna get bit by him. I gotta be quick. I gotta be fast. I gotta, oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Take it easy. This is the blue one, everyone. This is the bluey, uh, beautiful lizard, the Lewis Eye hybrid, and they're just not tame. So the female I wasn't able to get, I'm sure she's fine. She's probably basking right now. Let me just go ahead. I gotta gently, what I'm gonna do is pin them right like this, grab you guys, and we're gonna go for a walk. Oh, those are sharp claws. Yes, I know, I know. I gotta be firm on, these guys are really strong, believe it or not. Oh, there's the female, she's out there already. And here we go. Holy smokes, everyone. All right, I gotta be careful not to get bit. I'm sorry you guys getting thrown around like this, but maybe I should be wearing my, my head gear. All right. There we go. No big deal. No big deal. Go that way. Aw, he's upset. And the female, again, wasn't that cold last night, so she's good. Very, very nice. Whew, I tell you, it ain't easy. Let's go get Inky. Oh, and Bobby Rubino, by the way, while I'm here, where's Robert Rubino? There he is. So what I did with Bobby, because I was concerned, I couldn't get him because he went into his um, heated shelf. Well, not really, it wasn't heated until I did this. He went into his little um, hideaway. And what I did was I took a Fluker heat pad and just rolled it up. I rolled it up. And man, that's good. That really warmed it up. And I blocked both ends and he must have dug out this morning. So it took the edge off. Uh, so he is right there and he's looking good. He's in the sun. He's warming up on that dark fake rock that we built with Tana Serper. And uh, he's looking good. There's my Rubino. All right, so again, this is basically a dry run for the rest of the winter. I want to make sure the animals are all, um, they have their heated shelters. I, so don't worry, I'm not done. Last night I had uh, a short problem. My father-in-law came over and really helped me out. What happened was we're having an issue with a ground going from this outlet into the circuit board. We have to pull new wire. So that's something that had to be done. I changed all these outlets because I keep setting or tripping the GFI and I was having a hard time figuring out what was going on. I kept changing outlets and nothing was plugged in. I'm like, what's going on? Finally, my father-in-law came over who has a little bit more electrical knowledge than I do. And we figured out that the ground going from the GFI back to the circuit breaker uh, must be touching uh, or it's possible. So it's so old that it's possible that the coating, uh, the insulation on the wire has worn out uh, due to water intrusion. Hello, everyone. Hello. Did you guys cohabitate nicely last night? Come on out. Come on out. Oh, yeah. See, she wants him out of the house. Get out of the house. I'm tired of talking with you. All you do is complain. I don't know what she thinks, but they are coming out. Come on out, kids. I love it. Uh, I am going to go get Inky, don't worry, but I want to leave this door open so I can run right in and we could put the inks back in here. Okay, he was, she rather, was underneath this. But uh, what I think I'm going to do with Inky is make, I'm going to do a heated shelter for her in here. I've got an outlet on the other side I'm going to go ahead and use. And um, I think that'll be better. She'll find that heated shelter. And this way I won't have to pull her out every night it gets cold. And we are going to be building the, uh, hi buddy. We are going to be building a new enclosure for that lizard. Um, there's my girl. Aren't they great? They're out. They're out and about. Of course, the Chinese box turtles have no issues with the cold weather. They can hibernate. They're cold tolerant. So that's good. But let's see if we can get uh, Inky. Inky always bites me. Inky's good at getting my fingers. So we got to get the inks. And uh, hopefully there's not too much drama. We uh, turned this little radiator on. It was on low. Let's turn it off. 
I'm gonna just do it, you guys like this. I need both hands for this creature because I don't wanna make any silly mistakes. All right, there you go. That was easy. That was easy. It's Inky. There she is. Now, Inky, I gotta, I gotta kind of hold a little bit better because, oh, ow, oh God, Inky does, the, monitors do this thing with their back legs where they grip onto you and pull and scratch. Um, so you don't want that to happen. Um, all right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put her close to me here. She's making a little poopy mess on me, but I don't mind. She's making a little poopy messes. But she's so pretty. Is she getting big, guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. How does she look with the cobwebs on her face? She's looking pretty good. Oh, she wants to bite someone. She wants to bite me. She's not happy with being pulled out of her awesome house. Oh, gosh. She keeps making squirty poops on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, again, necessary for me to take care of these animals. All right? Ideal. Oh, careful careful she's kind of latched on to me here see this little there we go let's see oh you know want to learn a trick so here's a trick um i learned this from my friend tom crutchfield if you're worried about an animal that when you put it down can turn around and bite you um one of the best things to do is place the animal upside down let's see if this works with her oh she's latched on to me though um what you do is you put the animal upside down a snake or lizard mm, hold on i got I got, I got to put you guys down. Let me get this thing opened up. <coughs> I had the, I had the camera in my mouth. Uh, so watch this. So I want to just do this, right? We'll put her down upside down because, and if all goes well, she's got to right herself before she can bite you. All right. So there she is. She's fine. She is fine. Beautiful, beautiful lizard getting bigger. Super excited. But I learned that little trick. I like to share things, maybe with a snake it's easier, but if you put the animal, if you're worried about getting bit, I wasn't really worried, I just wanted to display something to you, but if you're worried about getting bit, you put the animal down, upside down, because the first thing it needs to do before it can bite is right itself. Oh, by the way, crazy Sophia and crazy uh, Stumpy in here. Come on out. Come on out, everyone. See this? Oh, she, they figured it out. They got the little heat pad. There's the stumps, rumple stump skin. Um, and we're looking good. All right. Very cool. Moving along. As I see, we got a little poop on me. Doesn't bother me. I'm used to being covered in lizard and tortoise poo, so no big deal. Let's go ahead and let out the red foots. Like I said, it was a good way for me to begin the winter season, I knew it was gonna be cool, not terribly cold, but it's um, important that everything is working. It's nice and warm in here. Here are the radiated younglings. And uh, look at this, do you think they're ready to go out? <laughs> I think they are. We're gonna pull this out and we're gonna plug this in. It's the light for Buttercup. But the, everyone's waiting to go into their habitats. There we go, we got lighting. Would you mind, I have to bring you over like this and I'll just do that and you're welcome to come out now. Um, this is a real cool treat, huh? Look, it's a red foot tortoise pile up. We gotta move you to the back of the line, I'm so sorry. You probably worked very hard to get up here, but uh, you're, oh, oh shoot, shoot, sorry about that. Uh, there's Lego. I love Lego, we'll just keep Lego right there. And then we'll open Sesame. Here we go. Ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me, I'll help you out. All oh, these tortoises sure are heavy. Oh no, don't move. Okay, now, what we're gonna have happen is a mass exodus, which means these tortoises are gonna get out and get into some sunshine. Get to it, kids. All right, we'll let them do it themselves, okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna stay here and watch them. There's Buttercup, she's looking good. The princess, I'll shut this door, keep the heat in. Where are we going next? Let's see. Uh, we, that's nice. Uh, there is Pink's. Her little shelter was working perfectly. She's out sunbathing now. No issues for her. We cleaned out and made ready 
the cherry head enclosure. They were all in last night. They're probably still in right now. We'll have a look-see. Check on everybody here. There they are. We're using a Stansfield heat mat for them with a ther uh, thermostat. So I doubt that. Yeah, it didn't even get cold enough to turn on the heat mat. If you see, the temperature is almost 73 degrees. So that's perfect overnight temps. So it held that temperature. So there's no drama there. Good. Things are working. I like that. Now, in the case of a deep freeze, you guys will see as the winter drags on, we usually get those deep freezes come December, January, February. And that's usually a couple of nights. Um, but those kind of nights can be a pain in the neck. So when I do that, I do, I have a different process. Check it out. The tortoises are out and about. Very good. I made sure they were all in. The tortoises never move out um, when it's dark. So I get them in before dark. They bed down in their house. Uh, the big galops, these two, Socrates and Darwin, they never really come out until it's daylight. And as you can see, everybody did a good job. So good stuff from these two. And our we did have a, a broken thermostat, so I went ahead and just wired in the lighting, plugged the lighting in directly, and there it is. It's working good. I can feel the heat in there. So they've got a warm place to um, overnight, and it's perfect. So this is what you have to do when you live in South Florida. I've said it before, you guys are laughing about the temps, because um, I know, I'm from New York, I know that this is not cold. But with some of these reptiles, if the temperatures drop quickly, it is always possible you can get them sick. So who do you think's in here? It's my radiated tortoises. So I'm just gonna go ahead, open this up for them so that they can come on out. Hey kids, oh, you're a little crowded in there. Come on out, get a drink. Uh, there is of course eight of them and they're gonna head on out. But let's move to our final group of critters that we had to um, make sure we're okay. And that is the sulcatas uh, over here. We made these new heat barriers. I'm glad I was able to get things done. Uh, it was a little cool, not deathly cool, just cool. But it was a dry run. So what did we learn? Hey, there's one of the ladies, she's out already. Well, I learned that I now need to make sure Slinky's uh, hide is dialed, which is what I'm gonna get on. We're gonna start building that thing. Come on, kids, come on out. They're perfect, I love it. Uh, we learned that, yeah, Slinky's, Slinky's enclosure needs to be dialed in. I was kind of waiting for this week because I thought Stuart was coming and I could then have his help when I, you know, kind of decorate the hide with that foam uh, rock um, and get his ideas. But it looks like I'm gonna have to do the bones of the operation before he gets here. We need a door, we need a working lid, and I think that's gonna be of the utmost importance here in the next few uh, days. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open the gate. That's what I'm doing. Opening the gate. Gorgeous day here today. Much to be done. So that's what's going on uh, at the camp after our first cool night um i'll tell you what i'm probably going to do also people is when we have a real bad freeze i think i'm going to just bring slinky in don't kill kate slinky might be sleeping in the house because i'm not taking any chances with him here's hercules he's out early what's up dude he's looking good man big old hercs hercules love it all right that's what's going on man all right good time today I hope you guys had a great Halloween. We're safe, had a lot of fun. Hope you kids out there got some cool candy. I know mine did. And what's fun is they go to school, I eat the candy. Uh, that's what we have to do. We just can't let these kids destroy their little teeth. So I'm willing to uh, take one for the team, eat that candy, make sure that uh, you know the kids' teeth are saved. Whatever, I'm a knucklehead. I'm just teasing. Anyhow, that's it, that's the party. The pond did well. We did. Let's see what the temperature of the pond is, just out of curiosity. Uh, the surface temperature is 76 degrees. So you know what that means? Water is always warmer than the air. There you go. It's always the last thing to cool down. And I can run my uh, 
I can run my well, which comes out of the ground at about 72 degrees. These cichlids are gonna be fine. We've had some very cold winters since I put them in here and they are just doing fantastic as long as we run that well water. All right, everyone, thanks so much for following me around today. I know what I gotta do. Don't you worry about it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of what we're trying to do to keep these animals warm and managed here in the cooler temps that are now starting to hit South Florida. Uh, I did say cooler, don't worry. I know you guys have been dealing with real cold weather, but this is important stuff. Uh, I hope it gives you guys ideas on how to take care of your animals if you live in the southern portion of the United States where winters are mild, yet still too cold for some of the reptiles that we keep from some of the tropical zones. So giving you ideas, that's how I do it. I'm open to suggestions. Hit me up in the comments below. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll talk to you real soon. Take care.